Welcome to the Moor side. If you need anything, I'll be around. Good to have a customer. There ain't much to offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. Rogar's house? It burned down not too long ago. It's a real pity about his wife and kid. The screams woke half the town. Most folk won't go near it now for fear it's cursed. Hrogar claims it was a hearth fire. Some folks say Hrogar started it himself. That's what they say. See, he's living with Alva now. That started the day after the fire. It ain't right moving in with a new love the day after your kin die like that. Aye. Our Jarl would sure like to know if he did, though. Might even pay to find out. Slow. No, it just ain't there at all. Few enough reasons to pass through Morthal before the war started. Now, well, let's just say the front door doesn't get much use. Lurbach? Fancies himself a bard. He pays, so I let him stay. If I had any customers, I'd be worried about him annoying them, but, well, <laughs> look around. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. N running an inn weren't my plan, but Folian decided to move here, so I joined him. Until next time. Folian had his work to keep him busy, and I needed something to do, so here I am. Until next there ain't much to offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. See ya. <laughs> I take what little business I can get. I'm grateful for anyone willing to spend money here. Ignore the orc. He pays, so I let him stay. Until... I tried to explain to Lurbuck that his singing is gonna get his throat cut. Until next, you want to be careful traveling at night. The marsh is a dangerous place. Huh? All right then. Yes? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. A new face. No, Such a welcome ain't. sight in dreary old Morthal. If you weren't paying for your welcome, room, friend. I'd have thrown you welcome. out a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, but they'll come around eventually. You'll see. Ah, uh, shouldn't be surprised if they come around, and if you're never seen or heard from again. A new face. Such a welcome sight in dreary old Morthal. Welcome, friend. Welcome. Don't fret over the gloom. There's nothing to fear. Old Lorebook will brighten your spirits. Just lend him your ear. I'm a bard. Trained at the Bard's College in solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking of composing a song about you, Yona. Would you prefer I proclaim your beauty, your strength, your... Nah, just don't. Leave me out of it. No interest in being immortalized in song, remembered and praised for all eternity? No, I mean it. When I'm known throughout Tamriel, you'll regret this decision.
Please don't mind Yorick. He's not mad. Really, he's not. I don't... I haven't Mother's Gift. Not quite. But I've seen things. Someday I'll be Jarl. Mother reminds me often. I hope I can help the people of Morthal the way she has. It's difficult sometimes. To know whether what I see is real or not. For now, looking after Yorick is my job. Need something? Have you seen my mother? I'm still waiting for her to come home. My mother and father died years ago. Falion takes care of me now. I asked Falion if someday I could learn from the mages in Winterhold. But he doesn't like that idea. Yes? Papa says that I shouldn't keep waiting. Why not? Mama has to come home sometime. Who are the Stormcloaks? And why would Mama want to spend time with them instead of me? Need something? Here for work. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. I... I'm not one for talk. Try to keep to myself. That's true, but I'm in a new house now. A better house. Yeah, that was a shame. But now Alva takes care of me and I take care of her. Good day. Alva's been good to me ever since... well, since the fire. You're I just try and do my job...